In this video, we're going to look at cost effectiveness analysis, introducing the concept of the incremental cost effectiveness ratio. Cost effectiveness analysis is a method of examining the cost of treatment options and achieving a health outcome, such as lower blood pressure or extending life years. Unlike cost benefit analysis, Cost effectiveness analysis does not put a monetary value on the benefits of medical intervention, for example, the dollar value of extending life. Incremental cost effectiveness ratio allows a comparison of the cost and effectiveness of two treatment options. And the formula is given as follows, where the C new and C old represent the cost of a new and old treatment, and E new and E old represent the effectiveness of a new and old treatment. So we might be looking at a cancer treatment, for example. You have an old treatment and a new treatment. Case one, the new treatment is more expensive and less effective. In this case, we're not going to adopt the new treatment. So the cost of the new treatment is more expensive than the old, and the new treatment is less effective than the old. This here, the decision is easy. We're not going to adopt it. Case two, the new treatment is less expensive and more effective. So here, the decision is straightforward. We're going to adopt the new treatment. The new treatment has a lower cost, and it's also more effective than the old treatment. Case three, the new treatment is less expensive and less effective. In medicine, we're generally concerned with providing more effective treatments, so here we're going to ignore the new treatment. So the cost of the new treatment is less expensive, which is good, but it's less effective. So in general, we want the new treatments to be superior to the old treatments. And finally, case four, the new treatment is more expensive and more effective. So here is the added expense worth the increased effectiveness. So the decision is not obvious. So here, this is where we're going to use the incremental cost effectiveness ratio. So again, the new treatment is more costly than the old, but it's also more effective. So let's do an example. The old treatment costs 200,000 and extends life by five years for some ailment. And this new treatment costs 300000 and extends life by seven years. So let's calculate the incremental cost effectiveness ratio. So in the numerator, we have 300000 minus 200000, or 100000. And in the denominator, we're going to have 7 minus 5, the difference in the effectiveness. And we get an answer of 50000 So the new treatment costs $50,000 per additional life year saved. Is the gain in additional life years worth the cost? Well, with a fixed health care budget, there may be alternative treatments for other ailments, other diseases that saves lives at a lower cost per life saved. Some health economists argue one year of life is worth approximately 100000 in which case the new treatment option should be adopted because it saves lives at less than that threshold of $100,000 per year. All right, I will stop here.